Hi guys, Matt Ruddle here. There are so many business books out there, so many wannabe authors, that it's hard to find out the books that are actually going to make a difference in your business and your learning. So I'm going to share with you some books that I've read that have had a fantastic impact on what it is that I do. So the first one is from a good friend of mine, Stefan Thomas. It's called Instant Networking. Now, Steph has literally written the book on networking. He's actually written uh, Business Networking for Dummies. And this book is the follow-up. And actually, it's probably slightly more powerful. So if you do any networking, you want to pick this book up. One of the key factors in this book uh, that I've certainly picked up on, and the one that I talk to a lot of people about, is that the, the traditional sales funnel is you put the leads in at the top, something happens, and you get the sales at the bottom. Like Steph says in this book, Leads and sales are not gravity fed. You actually need to turn it on its side, not the book, the sales funnel, to draw people through. You need processes in place. You can't just throw leads in at the top and hope that they, they fall through the bottom like a 2P machine. The next book is The Chimp Paradox by Dr. Steve Peters. Now you may think it's, it's a book about psychology, it's a book about the human brain, but you know what, that's incredibly important in business because how many times have we driven to the office and we've already had an argument with ourselves with an imaginary person. We've already thought this person's going to do this and I'm going to do this. What Steve teaches us in the, in the book is that those conversations are not great, we know that ourselves, but actually we can circumvent those by putting the chimp in the box, using our human and our computer brain to make the decisions and actually take the emotion out of it. And the example that he gives is a fantastic one in this, uh, this book with the fact of a guy waiting for his date at the cinema. And he's trying to get hold of her, she's late, and he's ringing and ringing and ringing and can't get through. The chimp inside of him just goes nuts. But the simple fact is, he can't get hold of her because on her way there, somebody had had an accident and she was on the phone to the ambulance waiting for them to come and help that person. But he's launched and attacked her saying that he's embarrassed by what she's done and she stood him up and things like that because he's reacted to it. And we all do that in business. I've said in previous videos, uh, I think it was about the Godfather. Yeah, it's just business. It's not personal, it's not emotional. And this is one of the key books that I've used to help take emotion out of some of those annoying, aggravating and angry moments in life. So totally read this book. My next choice of book, had a massive impact on our business and it's called Oversubscribed from Daniel Priestley. Daniel's written several books including Key Person of Influence but this book unlocks secrets that you need to know in business. If you run events or, or you want to generate that, that fear of missing out, this is the book for you. One of the examples that Daniel gives in this book is when Monty Python came back and they came back for one show only. Now that one show sold out incredibly well and people missed out massively. A few days later, oh, nine consecutive shows come out. So Daniel teaches you in this book how you can become oversubscribed, how you can have people queuing up around the corner to use you and your services. My final choice of book, and I was only going to do three, and then there was this one. So this is by Brad Burton. You might love him, you might hate him. He's very much Marmite. Um, he's a good friend of mine though, so he's helped me out a lot. And actually this book has helped me uh, personally as well. So we all fi find ourselves feeling a bit lost at times. And we all ask ourselves the question, now what? Whether that's to do with family, whether that's to do with friends, whether it's to do with business. So if you ever find yourself lost, I do recommend that you read Brad's book, Now What? Because... It's not the most complicated of books, and, and I'm sure Brad wouldn't mind me saying that, but actually it does put things on a clear level for you and actually remove some of that, that mist from your head. So do check this out. If ever you feel lost, check this book out and the other books as well because they'll all help you elevate your business to the next level. <laughs>